The hot market is beginning to run out of steam. So if you're locked out of the housing market because of house prices being too high, then this is your chance as prices have actually gone down in some areas. According to CoreLogic, national home values in Australia were up a remarkable 1.5% in August. Even though the price growth of properties remained strong, the market is starting to slow and the 1.5% growth was surprisingly the slowest since January 2021. In this video, we're going to share with you what's been driving property values up, why the market is losing steam, warehouse prices have actually fallen across Australia and what the property market will look like in 2022. But before we start this video, if you find it helpful in any way, do me a little favor and hit that like button below or leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Just a little gesture like that makes a huge difference to the channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Thanks you guys, it really means a lot. So let's dive in. So what's been driving property prices up? Yeah, basically there's been a scramble for properties. And as we know, when demand is high, prices also tend to go up. But what's been causing the high demand? COVID? Well, actually record low interest rates. With interest rates starting with a one in front of it and a bit of a shortage of houses for sale, it's resulted in heaps of FOMO among buyers. And they're practically stepping over each other to get into properties, driving up prices. We've been told about open homes that have literally queues down the street. There's rooms that are so full, it feels like a uni party. It's kind of gross. It can be difficult to find a place. It's tough, but it's the market at the moment. And you might be asking yourself, how did these buyers actually afford these prices? Did everyone in Australia suddenly win the lotto and you didn't know about it? No. Most households have managed to save a sweet combined total, $205 billion worth of COVID stimulus, putting them in a good financial position. In addition, jobs are plentiful with a seasonally adjusted employment rate for people aged between 15 and 64 at a record high of 76% in June, July, 2021. So I guess if that's the case, then why is the market starting to slow down? Well, before we answer that, you might be asking how we know the market's starting to lose steam. Firstly, new mortgage commitments have started to slow down a little bit. In August 2021, new loan commitments for housing fell by 4.3%. This is the largest fall since May 2020. Second, the combined national auction clearance rate fell pretty sharply to 70% in August. That's the lowest clearance rate we've seen for this year. In general, a high clearance rate means a growing market, while a low clearance rate indicates a slowing property market. Now that we know the indicators that are telling us the market is really starting to slow down, we can tell you why this is happening. The answer is simple. Remember how we said buyers were falling over each other to get in the housing market, therefore driving up prices? Well, it seems that they may have gone too far. Houses have become that expensive that it's actually starting to prevent most people from getting in the market. House prices have been rising almost 11 times faster than wage growth over the past year. Less people are now able to afford houses, which means less demand for houses. And when demand's less than supply, the prices tend to soften. So where have house prices fallen across Australia? If you want to buy a house, but you're on a tight budget, then pack your bags and move into the country because this is where most prices have fallen. The Queensland outback region of Kalamala, Mount Isa and Weeper recorded the highest price fall of 30% to the medium house price of 215,000. Who said you can't buy for under 500,000? Prices in South Australia outback region in Kudapiti have fallen by 20.3% to a medium house price of 235,000. Yeah, and the median house prices in New South Wales Far West in Dubbo and Broken Hill are down by 14% to 285,000. And there is some good news here. If you're shopping in a million dollar price range, you may be pleased to know that prices in West Melbourne have fallen by 34.3% from a medium house price of $1.85 million to $1.21 million. That's a whopping 640,000 difference, enough to buy two houses in Outback region. So what's likely to happen in 2022? Increased regulations might further slow down the market. For example, recently APRA has increased the minimum interest rate buffer for home loan applications from 2.5% to 3%. So this is gonna reduce your borrowing capacity by about 5%. So in other words, if you're previously gonna be approved for a mortgage for $500,000, you can actually get a 5% less or $25,000 less mortgage from the bank. So keep that in mind. And realistically, if you tried to apply for that $500,000 loan today, you get declined. I think this doesn't mean the property market's gonna crash overnight. Firstly, only 8% of Australians borrow at their maximum capacity. So most people won't be affected by these new rules. Second, APRA has regulated borrowing before. And it was a while before house prices started to soften out. Also, the government's home builder scheme may also cause the market to slow down. Even though it was all paid out last year, a lot of the homes that were being built 
are gonna hit the market next year. At the same time, Australia's population growth is the slowest since World War I. This again will mean more supply than demand. With the market starting to slow down, this may be your chance to buy your first home you've always been dreaming of. So what's preventing you from qualifying for a home loan? Here at Hunter Galloway, we get home loans approved. So if you're living in Australia and looking for a mortgage broker, we can help. Visit us online at huntergalloway.com.au or call us on 1300 08 065 and we'll see you next time.